Hi Year 12, today I'm going to be walking you through how you're going to perform your enzyme practical. Now this is a summative task, so it's going towards your SACE. You're going to need to do a full prac write-up on this, this is your completion practical. For this, you're going to be using different concentrations of lipase to determine how changing the enzyme concentration will affect the breakdown of the substrate. So you're going to be using 1% to 5% lipase and some milk because lipase breaks down fats and milk has fat in it. You're also going to be using some wireless pH probes, so as the milk breaks down, you should see a change in the pH, and the pH probe will observe that for you. When you're doing this prac, it's important that you're going to relate the information back to how washing powders, so lipase is an enzyme that's actually used in washing powders. So how could changing the concentration of lipase in washing powders make the washing powder more efficient or less efficient. To the prac though. So for this prac you're going to need a number of things. You need two retort stands, an ice cream container filled with warm water of about 37 degrees, you need a thermometer to measure that temperature, you'll need your wireless pH probe, multiple beakers, multiple test tubes, some milk that already has detergent added to the milk to help the fats be all clumped together. And you'll need some concentrations of lipase. So you'll be using 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, and 5% lipase. I'm only going to be using the 5% lipase for this because it's a demonstration. You'll be doing the other concentrations. The first thing you need to do is, oh, you'll also need an iPad. The first thing you need to do is connect your wireless pH probe to an iPad. I'll do that in another video for you, showing you how to connect those up. For now though, let's assume this is all connected up, which it is. We'll put the wireless probe into the retort stand. Not too strong, because you don't want to break it, just enough to grip it. Okay, And that should be right above the water bath. You're then going to need to put your empty beaker into your other retort stand and clamp. Again, not too strong, you don't want to break the beacon. We might lower this one a little bit, and again, this will just be over the water bath. We make sure the water bath is around 40 degrees, or 37 degrees, which is the optimum temperature for lipase. Um, I would actually keep the thermometer in there, so you can keep an eye on it throughout the experiment. If the water starts to drop temperature, just add a little bit more warm water or cold water, to make sure that the water stays around that temperature. Next, you want to add 10 mils of milk to the solution. So we use our measuring cylinder, measure out 10 mils of milk, and we pour that into our beaker. We then want to lower the beaker into the warm water bath. Now, because lipase works best at 37 degrees, we want to let the milk kind of acclimatise to that temperature, so we're going to leave that for around 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure that's a constant wait time there. You don't want to be doing a different time for each concentration. So, we'll come back to this in 5 minutes. Now that our 5 minutes is done, we're going to add some lipase. So again, I would like to use 10 mils, so we're using a one-to-one -one ratio. 5% lipase, I'm going to add 10 mils of lipase to our solution. I'm not going to add that yet. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my pH probe into the solution. So using a retort stand, I'm going to lower that into there just so the pH probe is resting in the milk. This is now be sending all the data wirelessly to my iPad and I'll be getting a graph as well as a table with all the data in there. Once that's there and I've made sure the probe's working, I get my 10 mils of lipase, I add it to the beaker and I'm going to wait for 10 minutes and the pH probe will record the data every 15 seconds, sending that data to the iPad, which I can then collect and use in an Excel spreadsheet.
once the experiment's finished, you'll need to remove the pH probe. And then put the cap back on. I'll then want to remove the solution and start the next concentration. If I was you, I would start with the 1% concentration of lipase and gradually work my way up to the 5%. Now because this is going to take 10 minutes each trial and you're also going to wait 5 minutes each trial for it to climatize with the water, obviously this is going to be a long experiment and you're only going to be able to do each trial once. So at the conclusion of the experiment, make sure you collect data from at least three other groups and share that data so that you can work out the averages. Good luck.